Hey, what's up, you guys? Tom is back with another Linson's video. Today, I have a fragrance from Fragrance World. But before I get into that, just want to say thank you guys again. It is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices, whether it's that cell phone, that tablet, that laptop, that Macintosh, that brand new big screen TV, whether you watch me at home, at work, on a plane, a train, or an automobile. Maybe you watch me right now at Chuck E. Cheese. And if you are watching me at Chuck E. Cheese, please make sure those little brats have enough coins, enough plays, because a lot of times those little brats are trying to play my game. So make sure those kids have enough points. And uh, if you guys are new to this channel, you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, comment, and like. Likes are very, very important. Likes are important because there's a fragrance that I liked so much. I gave it a smell. It wasn't the real deal. It was a clone. It was a clone of a Parfums de Marley. It was Greenly. I think it was, um, if I believe, it was from King's Fragrances, I believe. There was a Greenly fragrance. I got a chance to smell that one. And from that one, I was blown away. I said, man, I gave it away because someone wanted to sample it as well. So, you know what? I am not the type of guy, you know, man, I want everybody to smell good. If I think something smells good and I maybe have the only thing, uh, the only bottle left, hey, if you guys live in the U.S., if you just want a little bit of sample, let me know. I will definitely get you guys that. I'm not the type to hold on to all my fragrances, man. I want you guys to smell just as good as me, man. And so, gave that one away, being nice, but I was like, man, I wish, I wish Fragrance World, I wish maybe... Off nine, maybe arm off. To making all these other clones, someone just please come out with a green leaf clone. From what I remember, I remember it being fresh, sweet, musky. I mean, that's from what I remember. Remember, there's green apple and stuff like that in there. And so, Fragrance World finally did it. They got their clone of green leaf. I don't know, maybe the CEO of Fragrance World, Paris Corner. Maybe he's been watching. Maybe he's heard a little bit of the chatter. Say, hey, Mr. Linsens wants that Greenlee clone. So bring it up. Now you guys already know the Greenlee's probably, you know, it's probably not going to be super, uh, you know, sexy or anything like that. It's going to be a mass appeal. People pleasing. Easy to wear fragrance. Easy to blind buy. But we shall see. We shall see if these, this brings back memories. That was... Uh, Almost a year, maybe two years ago that I smelled that one. So, this one is Fragrance World. This is Midori. Midori. You guys already see they got the horses right there. The box kind of looks similar. 1983. I am an 83, baby. So, this definitely gets points just for that. So, at the top, we do got that Fragrance World logo, which is like a globe with that Fragrance World wrapped around it. And we do got that sticker on the back. We do got some batch code stuff right there, okay? Guys got that QR code if you want to scan that. Got this from my guy in California, the Ooge store. Man, what a great guy. If you guys have never bought from him, know for sure that you can buy from him with confidence. I've bought several things from him. People that I've recommended it to, they bought several things from him. And man, the guy ships so fast. Like from California here. Man, if that was FedEx, that thing probably would have went to Tokyo first and then came back. So, kudos to the guy out there in California. So, here we go. I've been waiting for this bad boy. Kind of looks like a uh, Parfums de Marley bottle, but here we go. There is that Midori, which is that nice kind of green. I wish it was kind of frosted. That would be cool, cool too, but it's not frosted. It's just a nice clear green bottle, which is very nice. At the top, we do have that fragrance world logo that kind of superman triangle looking thing up there cap has a somewhat decent weight and then we do have that fw on the top of that atomizer so let's get into this bad boy let's see if it recaptures those memories so here we go nothing here let's see what that sprayer is like 
don't know if this is a bad one, but the sprayer on this one absolutely sucks, but my... <sighs> yeah, this is exactly what I remembered from that clone, at least. Again, I've never smelled the real thing, okay? But in the air... What this reminds me of is kind of like, especially in the air, is like Joe Malone's Sage and Salt. If you guys have ever smelled that one, very fresh, very uplifting, very refreshing. But this one has just that little bit of that apple. That apple that gives it that, it smells like a fresh Mama Smith green or whatever the hell it is. Mama Smith, Mama Jones, Mama Williams, Mama Karen, it doesn't matter. One of those mamas. Smells like one of those mama green apples. You guys know what I'm talking about. Those sour ones. Those those ones that they made those caramel apple suckers based off. Those green apples. Those bright green apples. <sighs> Man, in the air, this is just such a... If you've never smelled green, okay? This doesn't smell like your nautical. It's different. Okay, so this is not just a generic fragrance, okay? Even though it's like a green, it's a freshie. It's got this green fresh bright uplifting smell in the air it's intoxicating in my opinion now it's not intoxicating as far as oh my god the honeys are gonna smell it you don't want to grab it no it's intoxicating to me because it's just such an amazing smell it's intoxicating to me at least but it's almost kind of got this slightly creaminess behind it Got this, again, it's kind of fresh, it's kind of soapy, it's kind of green, and it's kind of creamy, just a slight bit of cream, but in the air, oh, this stuff is magical. This is a people-pleasing, easy to wear, easy to recommend as far as blind buy, if you just want to smell good, okay? I'm not telling you you're going to smell better than the next man, but if you just want to smell good, you want to smell inspiring someone's gonna smell this and they're gonna think of you as an inspiration because man they might not be smelling that good but they're gonna smell you they're gonna ask you what you're wearing <sighs> keep it a secret let them go spend that green leaf money you keep this one a secret okay only this one is meant for the frag heads that want to save that money okay this isn't for the ones that you know if you got the money and you don't mind splurging on it go get the real deal but this is for the people that are just like me Hey, $200 is just too much. 55 boom, in my ballpark. This was about 55 bucks, give or take. If you go through my guy in the Ood store, you can actually offer a little bit less, and he will gladly take it, okay? I offered 50 I think it was 55 I got it for the 50 So uh, go check that out. Man, again, just a beautiful, fresh, uplifting, Slightly sweet again, slightly sweet because of that apple. If you think of a green apple, you think of sweet, kind of sour. Now it's not sour, but it's definitely that fresh, fresh, beautiful apple. And again, you get this little green, you get this green earthiness, okay? And again, just a slight, it's like a slight cream in this guy. When you really take a deep breath, there's something creamy in here, and I'm starting to get some woods, okay? Now I'm not sure what kind of woods, maybe sandalwood. Sandalwood kind of smells similar to this, what I'm getting, but. Citru it smells kind of citrusy too now, okay? Yeah, but that could just be a fresh, beautiful apple. That could just be a sweet, fresh, beautiful, grown apple, okay? But it could be citrus too. It does smell slightly citrusy, fresh. Got that uplift. Got that inspirational. You got that beautiful overall scent. Man, that is going to be great. Honestly, I think this is a very versatile fragrance as far as you can wear it for pretty much any occasion, okay? The only one I say, this is not a sexy date night fragrance, but again, man, wear this during your date when you get home and you want to be even more sexier than you just go splash on some Dolce Gabbana the one or some Lana Wheat, okay? You don't have to be sexy all the way out wherever you go, okay? Be cool, be uplifting, be fresh. Then you get home, you want a little bit of freaky deaky, then you put on the sexy stuff, okay? But man, this one you can wear to work. You can wear on a date. You can wear it during the day. You can wear it during the night. You might not want to wear this in the winter. But when I say winter, that just means if you're going to be sitting outside. Who wants to stay outside in the wintertime anyways? 
but any other time, fall, man, this is going to be great. Especially if you got a nice fall that's like 50, 60 degrees. That freshness, I guarantee, is going to smell great with those other elements of the outdoors, especially with the fall. You guys got a nice fall like us Wisconsin people, all the leaves and the colors and stuff like that. I mean, this is going to just go so damn good. This definitely has brought me back some memories, especially, again, from that. Again, I forgot what the hell the clone was, okay? I know it was from one of those smaller fragrance houses. It wasn't Dua. It wasn't uh, Dapper or nothing like that. It wasn't uh, uh, Dazier. It wasn't all that. It was something small. I think it might have been King's Gate fragrances, or it might have just been King's fragrances. I think it was King's fragrances, Greenly clone, but this one again brings me back those memories smells great <sighs> and i gotta give a shout out i think one of my subscribers actually mentioned that they had a midori which is you know then i looked at it and i was like man it's got to be a greenly clone isn't it and it sure was it smells awesome you guys go check this one out again 50 55 bucks honestly even at 55 60 i actually think this is a pretty damn good pickup so with that being said, I'm going to get up out of here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that video. Hopefully, you guys return for the next one. So, if you guys do, if you guys like this, hit the likes, hit the subscribe, comment, share, and peace out.